you'd have to go back 95 matchups, including the playoffs, to find a Spurs-Lakers game that did not include either Tim Duncan nor Kobe Bryant. But such was the case Friday night in Los Angeles as the Lakers get out to the early lead thanks to Pau Gasol. He had 20 points and 11 rebounds to lead Los Angeles. Xavier Henry goes down after hitting his head on teammate Wesley Johnson's knee. You see the blood. Scary sight right there. And he's got a smile on his face. Cleans things up and would return to the ball game. Pretty play here as the Spurs go on a run. Give and go. Tiago splitter right back to Tony Parker. Part of a 17-4 Spurs run. Tony had 12 at the half. Time winding down in that first half. And splitter gets one going through the lane. Lakers, though, led by one, 42-41 at halftime. In the third quarter, more from Tony Parker. Had eight points in the quarter. Look at him drive. Fake out Steve Nash, go up and under for the lay-in. Spurs by two. Then Parker, working on Nash again, gets a screen from Splitter, pulls up and knocks down a jumper. Spurs by three. Fourth quarter, though, lead changes aplenty. 14 of them in the quarter alone. Lakers getting some help from their bench. Wesley Johnson in the corner for three. And then here's Steve Blake to Jordan Hill for the lay-in. Steve Nash didn't even play in the fourth quarter. He's just one of eight for the ball game. It's the Lakers bench outscored their starters 45 to 40. Tied at 80. More from Parker. He grabs the loose ball and knocks it down. 24 points a game high. Also had six assists. And then Manu Ginobili off the Spurs. Steal. Ginobili all alone for the easy flush. He had 20 off the bench. No Duncan, no problem for the Spurs. They take it on the road against the Lakers, 91 to 85.